going Meet on. Meet SS Splendor, a fictional steamship at the heart of a new podcast musical conceptualized and created by this guy. Or rather, this guy, Alexander Ronenberg. Alexander is a music director, singer, and composer who notably worked as a music assistant on Hamilton. He is a graduate of Stanford University and the New School in New York City. His SS Splendor podcast is a supernatural mystery podcast musical set aboard a cruise ship. There's elements of Scooby-Doo combined with Little Shop of Horrors. A Jazz Age Atlantis feel, a Pippin vibe. Oh, that definitely clarified things. Well, Alexander and his co-creator, Kovi Brannon, along with his extensive production staffers and performers, released the project's first full 45-minute demo last week. So that should probably help. The demo itself is meant to showcase the character, the story, and the, the model, the, the package that it's in, which is a podcast musical. We're exploring territory that, that our audience doesn't really even know. Um, Podcast musical, what is that? Do you mean a musical podcast? For us, this is a musical put in podcast form. The podcast is set aboard a supernatural cruise ship. Now, some characters are ignorant to the ship's supernatural qualities, but our main character, Lily, is not one of them. Lily, who has clinically diagnosed anxiety, begins to unravel the mystery of the dark cruise ship when her little brother, Max, goes missing. Where did he go? How could one disappear on a cruise ship? A big part of my process was trying to figure out what each character sounded like and what the character of the ship was musically. For the ship, we pulled a lot from jazz um, and early musical theater composition um, to, to give it this ritzy feel. And that goes with the barbershop quartet, which is a little bit like quaint Americana, but also creepy. Like barbershop quartets are creepy. Uh, I'll be the first to acknowledge that as a member of one. Um, there's the more sweeping orchestral nature of the opening, for instance, which uh, represents the, the underbelly of the ship, right? You can even see in the logo, there's the ship above water and then there's the tentacles underneath the water. There's the choral composition, the very classical choral composition of the Sailor's Prayer, which is the prayer that the crew of the ship sings, foreshadowing some of the darker elements of this cruise ship. One may assume that Alexander chose to create a podcast musical because the audio style naturally suits distanced storytelling. But Alexander actually thought of creating a podcast musical back in 2015, and started working on SS Splendor in 2019 prior to the COVID-19 pandemic. I will say it is, is somewhat fortuitous in that it is a project that could be continued during the pandemic and a project that is really beneficial as something to work on during the pandemic. Though Alexander is exploring relatively new territory stylistically, because as he put it, podcast musicals don't really exist, the podcast musical form is not created in a vacuum. Old-time radio dramas, narrative podcasts, and crime podcasts set a lot of precedent. There is actually extensive history of mystery audio pieces, which is part of the reason why Alexander's narrative is grounded in mystery. You're literally depriving the audience of one of their senses, so their own mind can fill in those gaps and make everything that much scarier. This demo has been really helpful as a learning process of of discovery. What things can you kind of pull off in audio that you couldn't get away with on stage? Alexander pulled a cast together in March to rehearse and record the demo. Alexander made audio learning tracks for the cast members to practice with. The cast would then record parts on their own or with Alexander coaching over Zoom. Alexander would then send the vocal recordings along with virtual orchestrations created by his twin brother Carl to a professional sound designer. We would then combine the recordings into one package with added sound effects. Taking people with different mics in very different spaces all across the country and, um, and working his sound designer magic to make them sound like they're happening in the same room to the extent that we could. Alexander encourages all who might be interested to create a podcast musical of their own. And if need be, his Zoom room is always open. So this is a great opportunity for 
composers and songwriters especially to, uh, to showcase their work in a new way. Uh, and it's very doable in this, in this time. I, I highly recommend anyone who's interested to try uh, writing a podcast musical and recording a podcast musical. And if they wanted any help, well, let me know. You can listen to the recent demo on ssplendorpodcast.com. Chloe Winterstein, Peninsula Press.